Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, the fifth round of the FA Cup has just been drawn and uh, it looks like we've got Middlesbrough or uh, Newport County away. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So what I did was I just had a quick look through. It's not, you know, the League 2 Newport County and uh, obviously Championship Middlesbrough. Um, don't often follow uh, the English Football League. Uh, so what I did was I had a quick look through thinking, you know, where would we rather go? Well, I'll just give you a little bit of news. If we uh, if we look at sort of Middlesbrough first, then obviously Middlesbrough is uh, the home is uh, the Riverside Stadium. Uh, I remember going there many many moons ago, and uh, actually, one it was a decent stadium. I, I went on a run of uh, about six eight months where uh, a load of friends were following Stockport County as a sort of side thing to Man City, and I remember. I can't remember what year it was, 96, something like that. And uh, I followed them um, to, all the way to the Riverside in the semi-final uh, with big Kevin Francis. And uh, I think, I can't remember, got beat 2-1, I think, or 2-0. Um, and it was a good day out. Uh, not much up there, but uh, and a long drive. But, you know, so uh, holds 34,000. Um, they're currently fifth uh, in the championship. And uh, looking... Through their statistics, uh, they played 28 this season, uh, won 12, drawn 11, lost 5, uh, four uh, goals, 4, 30, against 20, so obviously plus 10 goal difference. Uh, their, uh, their current top goal scorer is uh, the wonderfully named Brit Asamba Longa. Uh, he's got no uh, 9 goals, uh, no assists. And uh, I had a quick look through their results, thinking their home results, because obviously we're going to play them at home. And uh, going back through, uh, looking at October, they got beat at home 2-0 by uh, Forrest. Uh, they then had a 0-0 draw with Rotherham, a 1-1 draw with Derby. Uh, they then beat Palace uh, in the Cup. Uh, they, uh, they beat Wigan 2-0. And uh, then moving through into December, they got beat 3-0 at home by Aston Villa. Uh, drew 1-1 with Blackburn Rovers. Uh, got beat by Burton Albion 1-0 at home. Uh, got beat by Sheffield Wednesday 1-0 at home. Uh, then they beat uh, Ipswich. And then in January, uh, they beat Peterborough 5-0 uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, had a 1-1 draw with Millwall. And then obviously the 1-1 draw with Newport County. So, uh, yeah, a bit in and out of form. But um, they're not losing that many. Um, say not losing that many. They've lost five uh, overall uh, out of 28 games. So... They've got some decent players and, and even just having a, a quick scroll through their team, some names pop up. I remember Negredo was there, uh, but they've got Darren Randolph as one of their keepers and then just going through their defenders quickly, uh, Ryan Shotton. Um, and then into the midfield, John Obi mckell ex-Chelsea, uh, is in there, Grant Ledbetter. Uh, who else? Stuart Downing uh, still plays for them. And... Uh, Mo Besic uh, as well. And then obviously you've got uh, Rudy Gestead and uh, like I said, uh, Brit Sombolonga um, in their team. So, you know, some you know some household names, I guess, there. So uh, that'll be interesting uh, to see how uh, Middlesbrough get on with uh, Newport County. Uh, but then what I did was I had a look at Newport County. I, I knew absolutely nothing uh, about them whatsoever. Um they play at Rodney Parade, great name for, for a stadium, 7,850 capacity there. Uh, currently they're in League 2, 14th position, uh, they played 27 games, uh, won 11, drawn 6, lost 10, uh, 4 goals, um, 38 against 45, minus 7 goal difference. Uh, their top scorer is a guy called Padre Amond, uh, 16 goals, 5 assists. Um, so, I had a quick look at their results as well, just looking at really um, how they got on at home because, you know, that's where we're going to end up uh, playing them. Uh, they beat, uh, going back, uh, if we go back uh, through, uh, just let's say go back to October time, uh, they drew with Macclesfield Town 3-3, uh, they drew with Forest Green Rovers, um, let's see, at home, they beat Stevenish 2-1. Uh, who else? Uh, Morecambe they drew one-one. Uh, looking else, they beat Plymouth Argyle two-nil. 
and uh, they beat Northampton Town 3-1. Uh, who else? 4-0, they beat Wrexham uh, at home. Uh, they got beat by Forest Green Rovers 4-1 at home uh, in December. Drew 0-0 with Crawley Town and then into January uh, they... Uh, they actually obviously they beat Leicester 2-1. Uh, so it shows shows you that they beat a Premier League team. Um, so you know they're no mugs uh, per se. Uh, giant killers. Newport then beat uh, Exeter City 1-0. Uh, then obviously they had the draw with uh, Middlesbrough, uh, which is going to the replay. So uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, Never been to Newport County, must admit. Not, no, I don't even think I've ever been to Newport. Uh, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how that uh, game pans out, the replay. And it looks like we're either going to be going to Wales or we're uh, we're going to be going uh, up north uh, and going to Middlesbrough. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. It's exciting. It's something different. And, uh, yeah, looking at Chelsea and United being drawn together, that's, uh, you know, the, the two other clubs potentially. Uh, where uh, a big upset could have happened uh, if we would have been drawn together. Well, we've avoided them, so fingers crossed, we should be able to go to the likes of Newport County and, uh, and Middlesbrough and, and get a result and take us through to the to the next stage of the FA Cup, uh, keeping us in four competitions. But uh, the only problem being, as with these, when you get drawn against this type of teams, tickets are going to be at such a premium. Uh, like I said, uh, thirty-four thousand at, uh, at the Riverside, and only seven thousand eight hundred and fifty. So, yeah, they're going to be gold dust uh, to get to. But it should be, you know, I'm, I'm FA Cup. I hope Newport County beat uh, beat Middlesbrough, uh, and have an unusual trip out to uh, to Newport. So anyway, guys, just thought I'd do a quick video, uh, give you a little bit of background to to these these two teams and where they are at the moment. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, click notification, and we'll see you soon.